Hi there, everybody. Today I'm here with my friend Eve. Hello. And we are feeling very Christmassy. As yeah. you can see, I decked out the, uh, the room with lots of Christmas. Give me out a candle over there. Look at him. <laughs> Bit high. But today we are going to be doing a video about what it's like to be in school now versus what it was for me. Because I feel like that's really interesting because like when I was a kid, I didn't have social media in school or a cell phone or anything. And Eve, how many followers do you have right now? A lot. See? That wasn't a question. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, got a bit more on Instagram, you know. <laughs> do, you, do you have a laptop? I do. Do you bring it to school? No, no. What? I thought that everyone no. in school, or do you have a tablet in school? They have tablets at our school, but we don't bring them. So you like are given a tablet? No, you, well, the year, the six forms are, but we just sort of, if you need them for like research, you might have them in some lessons or you might not, it just depends. At the school library I had computers, so I would go there, but uh, yeah. you mostly, I don't know, I, I had to do that for research papers, but for the most part I'd play pinball or solitaire. Or you'd try and uh, log into Miniclip if you'd find like a good proxy. Yeah, I, I used to love Miniclip. Okay, so we get, okay. What other websites do you guys visit nowadays? I guess it's just social it's media. Just social media really, but they're all blocked at our school, so we can't. So obviously you just have to find a proxy. Yeah. Okay. There are ways. I know my, one of my favorite proxies was the word proxy backwards. <laughs> that one was a good one. Because you couldn't even Google the word proxy. Like they blocked the word proxy oh in Google. Oh my god, they're like one step ahead. When I was in school, we had uh, MP3 players that just come out. Except they were one song MP3 players. Wait, so you could literally just have one? They were called hit clips. So you'd, you'd collect them all and you had like, hit me baby one more time. <laughs> and you liked to listen to that one song over and over. Right. And like, I remember when iPods first came out, uh, people would try and hide them, the earphones. earphones and we'd yeah. like listen to music in school. Do you guys have an issue with that with iPhones? I, um, I don't think people would try and listen to music in lessons, but like if we have revision periods, then yeah. people will sort of like say that they're using it for revision purposes and then just listen to music. But like, our school's quite like, fast and sense that they can tell if you're trying to listen to music. Do, you, do teachers like take your phone away, obviously, if you're using it in class? Uh, yeah, that happened to me yesterday, the other day, so. I, I, I don't know, I feel really defensive. I I'd be I like, no, this is mine, yeah, I can't let you I have I wasn't this. using it in class, I, it was at lunchtime. And I was you know how to use it at lunchtime? No, from, from the hours of 8.50 to 3.40, no phones. What? You're allowed to inform period, like like just before form so period and then what if the teacher it? follows you on Twitter and she doesn't see you using it and she's like, Eve, I saw that tweet. I don't think I they liked do. it, but I am gonna take that thing. I think some of them like watch my videos, but I don't think they follow me on Twitter. Oh. So that's okay. I'm so okay. You have a you make videos, you have a yeah. social following. Yeah. How, do you get recognized in your own school? Yeah. <laughs> in, literally the other day I was walking down the corridor and this girl was like, this year seven that I'd never seen before in my life. She was like, oh my God, it's Eve Bennett. And there were these year 12s behind me that were just laughing at me. And I was like, wanted the ground to just suck I, me into a vacuum. I remember thinking about what it must be like to be Rebecca Black during the peak of oh Friday. My God. Like imagine going to school, <laughs> everyone knows Rebecca Black. Yeah, no. How does that feel? One of the best days in school was when you had a substitute and they brought out the giant, huge TV, TV on the rolly cart. Yeah. Do you guys have thin flat I, screens? I know we, no, up until like two years ago, we still had the giant roller TVs, <sighs> I would say. We don't have them as much anymore, but oh. we still have one at our school. It's we have flatter. it flatter. Like, no, it's like one of the big boxy ones. That makes me so With happy. The trolley on. I'm so glad you guys still have the big yeah. box one. Because that's that's just what makes me happy. It's kind of like, yeah, we're gonna watch like Find an Emo in oh, Spanish no. or something. Do you guys have I'm assuming they it's now upgraded a thousand times, but you used to have the, the projector screen that they'd roll out and they'd put a slide on. Yeah. In primary school I had that. But, but now they use the smart board. Now it's just the smart board. Just all the smart boards. I think my my senior year of high school we had our first smart board and it was like, wait, I can like write right on, on it. it. Yeah. And it was uh it was really cool. It didn't work most of the time though, so you ended up using a whiteboard anyway, so it's just there's not really much point. I always <laughs> hated chalk because I don't like the feel mm, of I it. I hate the sound of it on a chalkboard. Like no. I, I just don't it. I don't like the touch. I don't think I've seen a chalkboard since like reception, so I don't know what reception is. Because of Kindles and things, do you guys still have book fairs? We used to have those, actually. I think we still do. Like, I feel like you're in the transition like, period where you used to have all the stuff and now they're just like, we don't need this. Where anymore. they like wheel out the trolley and then they open yes. it and it's like, and it's loads of books and magazines. Yeah. And I remember most of them, when I was a kid that I wanted, were like 1001 PlayStation cheat codes, N64 cheat codes. Yeah. And you, you had to like open it. And be like, oh look, this is how I beat Goldeneye. And be... Yeah, we still have them. Like we just get, we tend to get coupons now instead. Mm -hmm. They give everyone a pound off a book from like W. H. Smith or Waterstones or something. Oh. I haven't seen a trolley since. Like yeah. Did you guys have five star notebooks? What? Five star, like as a kid, you you get a binder. Do you yeah. know what a binder is, right? Like a folder. Dodie kept calling it a folder. A folder, <laughs> a folder. is is like an uh, open book thing where you put things in the sleeve. 
and a binder has three rings. It's a three ring binder and you put three? paper in. Or five ring binder if you're fancy. What? No, we have two and four. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what's going on? Basically, as a kid, you, your family, they get to you the generic folders and the generic like notebooks yeah. and three ring binders. Or you spring for the five star. That's like the... Oh yeah, oh he's got a five star. His family wow. must be well off. It was just two dollars more per each binder, <laughs> but it was always like nice quality. Yeah, I guess. Because I, I don't know, there's so much online you can like make your calendar online. Do you guys still have agendas and like I have a planner. A weekly planner. Do you actually use it though? Yeah, I have to. Well they sign it every week to make sure that you've used it. Really? Yeah. I would I, I just I'm so disorganized. You like, have to get your parents to sign it every week. So if you don't, oh then my. you get in trouble. That's have you forget. ever forged your mom's signature? She's, all she's listening. All the time. <laughs> we all do. We like what we do is we get a page that already has a signature on, and we mm -hmm. press it down, like press it down, like get a letter or something, and then just follow it with a pen. I just would just do, do it, it myself. Yeah, I know my, my mom's I signature. I can't forge my mom's. It's like I've only had to do it once, and it was because I didn't get my mom to sign something saying I could go on this band trip. Yeah. And I'd miss out. It was almost like not going to Hogsmeade, and I was like, mm. no way. I forgot the day of, and I went. I've done permission slips as well for and contact forms and most things. Now. When I was a kid, cafeteria food was pretty great. I'd have pizza on fr every Friday, which was a square Elio's rectangle burnt piece of pizza. Yeah. And then on Mondays every other week, there was French toast and sausage, and like there was chicken nuggets on Tuesdays, mm. and like there was lasagna on Thursday. Did you? What do you guys have food wise? We have a salad bar, which is actually all right. We have sandwiches and baguettes, and then we have hot food. So like Mondays is chicken burger and wedges day. Okay. I love it. Fair. It's actually the best day. Mm. And Fridays a fish and chips day. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then and then Thursday's a roast dinner. So you have Whoa. like yeah, you have like beef, pork, chicken. Okay, I was I thought I was not gonna like the healthy meals, but roast dinner at mm, school. No, it's really good. And then the other two days you don't actually know what goes on. Do you have pizza ever? Yeah, we have it okay. at Rec. We have it at break. We have snacks at break like mm. hash browns, samosas, garlic bread, pizza, paninis. You name okay, it. Okay, I'm actually jealous now. You name it. No. I I thought I was gonna be like. I've gained so much weight since I've started eating at the canteen. Wow. And we have like fizzy like drinks, like appetizers. Do you guys have breakfast? Yeah, we do hash browns. Okay. We bacon, had pop tarts. Sandwich. Oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it is though. I love pop tarts. Yeah, you know that uh, my description of a mince pie is basically an off-brand pop tart. I kind of see where you're coming from there, though. Yeah. Like, not gonna lie. What do you guys call recess? Is that like break? Like it the is a break the to play. Minute, the 20 minute period that you get sort of. 30 between. minutes, but yeah. Yeah, well, most normal schools call it break. We call okay. it rec. Well, we were normal and we called it recess, such as the TV show Recess. Yeah, yeah. Recreation, um, that's what we called it. Okay, because uh, during recess, we would just play like wall ball or kickball or we would trade Pokemon. That was a huge thing. Such a big thing. They had to ban Pokemon from our school. We had Go-Go's. What's that? They're like little toy things at primary school that were like sort of this big and uh -huh. like you used to trade those and like they got banned. Are they like pogs? Like little discs? No, not discs, they're like little characters and like we saw they like bandits so we had to go underground and sort of start doing <laughs> the black it like market, un yeah. underneath jumpers oh, and We had things. to like go behind the, the like right behind, building behind, like, to the, deal Pokemon cards. Yeah, exactly, like, yeah. You got that executor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were the same, we were the same but uh, now we can just stay inside so we just sit on our phones and yeah, like that's what if if I had recess nowadays, I think I might just be on my phone, which yeah. is a bit upsetting because a recess is supposed to be time yeah, to play. Yeah, fun. The year sevens and that have to go outside, which is really funny when it's all cold and you just sort of watch them start huddled by the door like this for twenty minutes. It's yeah, but it, I don't know. <laughs> it's quite funny because you could choose to for us to go to the library and like use the computer. You can go to the library. But a lot of people do that when it's cold. Did you ever play wall ball? Wall ball is where you have a tennis ball yeah. and you throw it against the big wall. It bounces off. You're okay. If you miss the wall then you have to run for the wall and if somebody gets the ball, they can no, peg it at we you. We played Bulldog and that got banned, that was Bulldog? it. Was yeah, it was, I can't even remember how you play. It was just something where you were like running across the playground and there was like a line of people who were on and they had to catch you, but it got to the point where people were like jumping like and Red pinning Rover? people. Yeah, probably that's what it is. And people were getting pinned to the concrete. Oh. So we just changed the name to Gummy Bear. Okay. <laughs> no Bulldog. Okay, it's called Gummy, Gummy Bear. Bear. We kept changing the name, so it was fine. They didn't really catch on. It took them about like on average three weeks to catch on, and then we just changed the name. That's really smart. Online bullying is a thing, because yeah, when I was a kid, bullying a happened, thing. but it was never online. It's always online now. Like, I feel scared. Like, to, if I went online and I saw someone that I knew in the class talking and directing me, basically. That, that is basically indirecting is terrifying I every can't single that problem i've had at school is has been either on twitter or oh. ask fm it's oh. usually on twitter like mm. people interact to me but then i had people sending me messages on ask fm in like year eight and then they found out who it was 
Um, but the problem is now, even if someone's done something on social media, mm -hmm. because it's not happened in school, they're like, we can't do anything about it. You have to go to the police, and then the police uh, won't do anything. So it lame. never, nothing ever happens. So it's. Uh, yeah, we've had people coming in and talking to us about it, and there was this one big scandal where somebody made an Instagram account like dissing yeah. all these people, and she it's was like never the burn book again. from uh, what's yeah. the name of that movie? Mean Girls. Mean Girls. How can you not know the name of that movie? At my second school I went to, if you didn't have an LL Bean, like you weren't that cool. Like yeah. everyone had a personalized LL Bean with their initials on it, and I came to school wearing some other backpack, and I felt so different and like, oh, I need to get. I literally got yeah. one for that reason when okay. I was in school. Uh, it's something I'm very happy about now that it's over. A big thing was Hollister and Abercrombie and a lot of those branding. Don't. Oh Everyone would wear Hollister. I didn't. I was no, like, I don't understand. That's... It looks baggy. Yeah. And it, it like the certain type of jocks type of wore. And like, so I'm wondering now that they're like on the decline, do you guys still have something like that? Oh my gosh. At our school, because our school's um, like selective or yeah. girls school. Like everyone's a bit like scale um so everyone wears jack wills and hollister okay but, like, so it is wear, the same like, still they'll be there like with like a neon green hollister jumper and that like bright blue hollister jeans and orange hollister like shoes and it's just like why it's like, just a it's, it's a, a game of how many how... brands can i wear and i went through a phase where i would i would only ever wear jack wills because i felt really left out but now yeah I that's how it makes you feel doesn't it i don't yeah i just don't understand why you need like a name on your jumper you just don't to be like oh look it's... i've shopped at this shop it's about how much money because they're expensive yeah, so by wearing it saying no. this brand it's like look how look. rich i am yeah but how do you no. do your homework without like <laughs> without just being able to google it like i don't it, understand it was a huge issue like you just had to read the book if you do a research project though like how did you get so many different like opinions on things? you had to go to the library no. and rent out i remember from my research paper i had to take out 10 books and have at least one online source by renting out the library, yeah? That is not good. I don't understand how you can do that. I remember, like, if you ever had issues in class, you just had to open up the actual textbook and read the chapter again yeah. and then figure it out. I don't know what you do without, like, revision videos either. Like... Oh, man, those are so helpful, though. Once yeah. I got to university, I would just, and I needed help in probability. There's so many YouTube videos on YouTube. It's great. I don't understand how you, like, that's how I revise best, so, like... Yeah, Without... I taught myself almost thanks to YouTube because my teacher wasn't that good. Yeah, I, I literally taught myself the whole of the biology syllabus just by watching this guy and he was just the best thing ever. And now I'm really good at biology. Do you guys still pass notes? Like, or do you just text? Yeah, no, they make you read them out of class. Oh, so you don't pass notes. Do you yeah. read texts in class? Like, give me your phone. Girl, what you wearing? What, what are we those? No, we don't pass phones around in class, but I'll, I'll be on my phone. I think I would have been that guy mm. if I was back. Like, if I was in school right now, I would be on my phone all the time. Yeah, no. I'd be in trouble so much. We do pass notes sometimes, but we tend to avoid it because they have a habit of just humiliating you. So... Oh, I feel like I would have tweeted a lot of indirects at my teachers and would have gotten in trouble. Like, that's just who that's I am. That's happened at school before. Someone's tweeted something and put the actual name of the teacher in there. Oh. See, if I tweet indirect about a teacher, I just don't put their name in. So, so that way they all it. think it's about them. Yeah, like none of them will watch this because I don't think they'll know how to sort of... All the teachers love Evan Edinger's videos. But like, you know... Well, that was very interesting. I feel like going to this video, I thought as a 90s kid, I was going to be the winner of this argument. But I feel like you guys definitely have it better with yeah, the cell phones, do. with the Googling and everything. It's almost like a good combination of then and now in a way. Uh, but otherwise, if you guys did like this video, please give it a big like below. And also, make sure you check out the video on Eve's channel where we reacted to her old tweets. She used to be a fan account. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of cringy <laughs> tweets in there to other YouTubers. Other than that, please be sure to subscribe. I make new videos every Sunday. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. And I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. Oh, oh. She, didn't, she didn't go down. I'm sorry. Woo. You did it this time. I, I knocked your camera though. Oh. <laughs> you were just a midge. Yeah, I mean, I've got plenty of space. I can do what I want. I open a book such as Speed, Speed Mathematics. Mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> this is just casual reading for I'm me. I'm pretty sure my granddad used to have that. <laughs>